نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و اخلل اقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی و جعل لی وزیر من اخلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹرانسلیشن سورة البقرہ ورس 189 یس علونکا سین حمزہ لام تو آسک تو میک ایک قویسٹن تو انٹیروگیٹ The ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb. Wow noon at the end shows that it is for the third person masculine plural. Yes, Aluna. They ask. And since it is an imperfect verb, it can be translated for the present as well as for the future. They ask or they will ask. And whom will they ask? Kapsabar ka. This is a pronoun. Yes, aluna ka. They ask you. An. About. Ahilla. Ahilla, actually when we translate it, it means the crescent moons. Now, uh, before going um, proceeding, I think I would want to mention and give an example to relate and make you understand how extensive the vocabulary in Arabic language is. And that is one of the main reasons why Quran was uh, revealed in Arabic and why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala selected the Arabic language for the revolution of Quran. Because it has a very, very extensive vocabulary. And you know that if a person has a very extensive vocabulary and a, a, a reservoir of verbs, then it is very easy to express what the person wants to say. You know, uh, a person who has a very extensive vocabulary is generally very fluent in the spoken language. So Arabic language has a characteristic that it has a very vast vocabulary. Now, just quoting the example, like when we talk about the different types of moons, we just say that it is a small moon, it's a full moon, it's a half moon, and that is it. We don't have separate verbs. We don't have separate words for the different types of moons. But in Arabic, halal is the name for the moons between the dates between the first and the third and the moon between 26th and the 30th so these dates of the moon when the moon is like very very fine it is known as halal in arabic then the moon uh, between the dates fourth to the 12th of the lunar month and 19th to the 25th of the lunar month, the moon, which is slightly bigger and is like somewhat half moon is known as Qamar in Arabic. And between the dates 13th and the 18th of the lunar month, the moon in Arabic is known as Badr. So you have three names, Halal, Qamar and Badr depending upon the dates of the lunar months. Now, ahilla, the root word is ha, lam, lam. Actually, it means to call out or to cry out, to address or to announce. Now, this crescent moon is related with calling out like that in those days when the people and even now, when the people, they have the sighting of the moon of the new lunar month, that is when they see the crescent, people generally announce or they give the news or they congratulate or they give up the information that the 
crescent or the new moon of the new or the next month has been sighted. So the moon which at its sighting people cry out or call out to each other greeting them or announcing them or giving the news or the information about the start of the next lunar month that moon at which calling out is done is known as halal yes aluna ka anil ahilla they ask you about the crescent ul this is an imperative verb and ordering uh, the second person masculine singular ul you say here they these ahilla these crescents are what mawaqitu lin nasi mawaqit the root word uh, root word is waw qaf ta it means the time mawaqit means the manner or the means of telling or giving information about the time so allah is saying here that halal or the the lunar month which follows the halal is actually what it is a means of telling the time and the date so it is what it is a natural calendar linasi for the people for the mankind wal hajji and for hajj and for the major pilgrimage arabs used to call the major pilgrimage as hajj and umrah they um, they called the minor pilgrimage as the umrah wa and laysa it is not al birru ba ra ra righteousness virtue al birru it is not wa laysa al birru it is not the righteousness be an that ta tu hamza ta ya to come or to go to give or to take ta tu is an imperfect verb for the second person masculine plural you all come al buyuta ba ya ta bait means the house al buyuta the houses ta tul buyuta you all come to the houses men from zuhuri ha zawd ha ra means the back zuhur is the plural and uh, which which back the back or the back walls or the back yards or the back doors of the houses zuhuri ha ha is a pronoun which is pointing towards al buyut their backs wala kinna but and wa and lakinna but indeed for sure al birru the righteousness is what man whoever ittaqa wa qafya to be afraid of ittaqa he adopted taqwa he is god fearing or conscious or consciousness of allah waqtu and you all come now the root word of waqtu and taqtu is the same hamza ta ya but here it is what this is an imperative verb and it is ordering the second person masculine plural you all come where al buyuta to your houses waqtul buyuta and you all come to the houses men from abwa biha 
Bab means the door and abwab is the plural of bab. Abwabiha, its doors. Now, ha here is a pronoun and it is pointing towards albuyuta. So you enter the houses from their doors and you do what? Wattakullah. And you fear Allah. You have piety. Of what? You have fear of Allah. Why? La'allakum tuflihun. So that you all tuflihuna. Fa lam ha. Falaha means success. Tuflihuna, the ta at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb. And wow noon at the end shows that it is for the second person masculine plural. Tuflihuna, you all are successful. Verse number 190. Wa and qatilu of ta lam. Now, when it is qatala, we means to kill. But when we have a hamza after ta, qital does not mean to kill. Qital means to fight, to have war with. Waqatilu, and you all fight. What is this? This is an imperfect verb and it is ordering the second person masculine plural to make qital or to fight. Fi sabilillah. Fi in sabilillah in the path of Allah, in the way of Allah. Alladina, and whom do you fight with? Alladina, those who yuqatiluna kum, yuqatiluna, they fight or make war with you all. Imperfect verb for the third person masculine plural. And when you fight, what do you do? Wala ta'tadu. And do not you cross the limits. And do not you cross the boundaries. And do not you transgress. This is an imperative verb giving a don't, an order of don't. In Allah. And why don't you transgress? In Allah. Indeed, or for sure, Allah, la yuhibbu al-mu'tadeen. La yuhibbu, he does not love. Hababa, al-mu'tadeen. Those who transgress. Mu'tadeen is the plural of mu'tadid. And this means the transgressor, the person who exceeds or goes beyond the limits and boundaries of Islam or the limits of the commandments of Allah. In Allah la yuhibbul mu'tadeen, indeed Allah does not he love those who are the transgressors. Verse number 191. hum. And you all kill them. Now, this is not kital, it is qatal. And you all kill them, haisu, wherever thaqiftumuhum. Tha of fa. Thaqafa means to, to find, to, to get, or to overtake or to be overpowered, or to be in control. Saqif tumu hum. This is a perfect verb for the second person masculine plural. You all overtake them. You control 
or find them. And when you overpower or you overtake them, what do you do? وَأَخْرِجُهُمْ أَخْرِجُهُمْ This is again an ordering word. It is an imperative verb ordering the second person masculine plural. أَخْرِجُ خَرَجَ means to turn out, to expel. And you all expel whom them men from Haisu wherever Ahrajukum. Haraja again means to expel or to turn out. Now Ahrijuhum means you expel them. This is an um, this is uh, an imperative verb. Uh, sorry, it's an imperfect verb. Now, akhrajukum is a perfect verb for the second person masculine plural. <clears throat> akhrajukum. They expelled you. Now, I again want to highlight the difference. Akhriju, this is what? It is an imperative verb where it is ordering the second person masculine plural to turn them out. And ahrajukum, this is a perfect verb which shows that the second person masculine plural, they expelled whom, kum, you all. So you see here that with a minor change of the zair, the zabar, and the pronouns, we can actually understand only and only if we grammatically relate it to the Arabic grammar. And moreover, we need to be very, very careful while we are reciting the Quran because a difference of just like one zabar and zair is going to make such a huge difference of the literal translation. And these are what? These are the words of Allah. And these are what? These are the orders and commandments of Allah. So while reciting, if we make a change in the literal translation, it will be definitely a very gross and a major sin. وَأَخْرِجُهُمْ And you expel them مِنْ حَيْسُ أَخْرَجُكُمْ From wherever they expelled you. Wal fitnatu. And why do you do all this? Wal fitnatu and fitna. Fata noon means the trial, persecution, oppression. Fitna actually in the in the terminology of Sharia and in the detailed translation of the Arabic language, fitna means a condition, a situation or a circumstances in which the, the bondsmen of Allah, they are not being allowed or permitted to spend their lives on the land of Allah according to the laws of Allah. So you see, when people living on the land of Allah, they want to spend their lives according to the commandments and the teachings of Allah, but they are because of oppression or because of religious trial or because of oppression, they are prevented from adopting such a lifestyle. This is known as fitna. Wal fitnatu. And the trial of religious persecution and the oppression is what ashaddu sheen dal dal it means intense severe or even worse than what min al qatli than killing than murdering wala tuqatiluhum <coughs> and do not you all fight with them. An imperative verb, stopping and saying no, giving a don't, that do not fight. 
you all do not fight with whom whom them where don't you fight in the masjid al haram in the close to near al masjid al haram al masjid the mosque and what is the mosque like the noun is masjid and the adjective for masjid is al haram so al masjid al haram means the sacred mosque and till when don't you fight near the sacred mosque hatta until you qatilukum they fight you all to qatiluhum means you fight them you qatilukum means they fight you so you see ta means you all and ya means they hum means them and kum means you <coughs> so that is why i'm i'm repeatedly telling you the differences because to highlight the importance that the basic arabic grammar which we definitely introduced in the initial sessions you need to keep on repeating and revising that because you know if you can relate and you can go back to that and you can understand the difference between hum and kum and you can relate that when there is ta or when there is ya at the start of a verb what different of translation it is going to make then it will be definitely easier for you to relate and to make and pick up the translation yourself and i am sure that you are definitely going to our rules and regulations which we suggested in the initial sessions that before the next lesson you will definitely revise the current session at least a minimum of 10 times and that is what i will be requesting you during the translation of surah al baqarah and inshallah when we complete surah al baqarah i have promised you by the grace of allah that if you carry on your translations the way we are guiding you to then you will be able to pick up the translation from surah al um, surah al imran about like 80% of the translation yourself may allah help us may allah support us may allah guide us to all what is the best what is the best for us here and hereafter yuqatilukum they fight you fihi in it fa in thus or so if qatalukum they fought you all this is a perfect word for the third person masculine plural then if they fought all of you then you do what faqatuluhum fa zabr fa so or thus uqtulu you kill them kazalika why do you kill them all kazalika like this jaza ul kafirin is the recompense is the reward of al kafirin kafirin is the plural of kafir of all those who disbelieve now let's just revise our lesson of today the verses three verses we've done today so that any of you can catch up any words or phrases which you have dropped out Verse number one eighty nine. Yes, Aluna ka. They ask you anil ahilla about the crescent moons. Ul, you say hiya they or it mawakitu. The means of telling the time. Linasi for the mankind for the people. Wal haji and for the major pilgrimage. walais al birru and it is not the righteousness be an that taqtul buyuta that you all come to the houses min zuhuriha from their backs wala kin al birra and but indeed the righteousness is manit taqa whoever is 
pious whoever adopts piety or consciousness or fear of allah waqtul buyuta and you all come to the houses min ab wa biha from their doors and do what what taqullah and you fear allah la allakum tuflihun so that you all are you are successful verse 190 wa qatilu and you all fight fi sabilillah in the path or in the way of allah whom do you fight with allazina yuqatilunakum those who fight with you wala tahtadu and do not you transgress or cross the limits in allah indeed of a sure allah la yuhibbul mu'tadin he does not love those who are the transgressors verse 191 waqtuluhum and you all kill them haythu wherever thaqiftumuhum you all find them you all get in control or overtake them wa akhrijuhum and you all expel them bin haythu akhrajukum from wherever they expelled you wal fitnatu and the trial the oppression the persecution ashaddu min al qatli is more intense or is more severe or is more worse than killing or murder wala tuqatiluhum and do not you all fight them in the masjid al haram close to or near the masjid al haram or the sacred mosque hatta until you qatilukum they all fight with you fihi in it fa in qatilukum then or thus if they all fight you fa qatiluhum thus or then kill them kazalika jazaul kafirin like this is the recompense or the reward of all those who disbelieve sadaqallahul azim